Ninety-nine years ago, Secretary of the Navy Josephus Daniels sent a letter to Thomas Edison asking him to chair a consulting board for Navy inventions. SecNav Daniels saw that new technologies were playing a large part in the First World War and wanted Edison to help the U.S. move forward. On July 13th, Edison accepted and, along with other researchers, established the Naval Consulting Board of the United States. In 1923, the Naval Research Laboratory began operating, building partnerships with defense and private sector research companies. Today, the Naval Research Laboratory continues Edison's inventive legacy with new and applicable technologies such as self-decontaminating clothes and the Global Ocean Forecast System. For more information on today's technological advances, visit the Naval Research Laboratory website. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Ian Cotter. (laughs) 